We begin tonight with a tragic scene at one of America's busiest ports, a deadly cargo ship fire at Port Newark in New Jersey. New images just coming in moments ago. That fire now burning for nearly 24 hours. Two firefighters killed when they became trapped on board, overtaken by the flames. The massive fire breaking out as workers move potentially thousands of cars on board the ship. Flames starting on the 10th deck and then spreading. The firefighters issuing maydays becoming lost in the fire. Cars engulfed in flames exploding on the decks hours after the fire began. Fire crews trying to contain the fire with water forced to take breaks to avoid sinking the ship. Five other firefighters were injured battling the blaze in intense heat. Newark's fire chief says his department does not train for this specific kind of incident. ABC's Trevor Alt leads us off from Port Newark. Trevor, the fire and smoke kicking up again late today. Uh, definitely, Lindsay, and you can still see this is a very active firefight. All that gray smoke that's pouring off of the boat, that sometimes turns black as more vehicles catch fire. And we have all the water pouring in from firefighters now who have been battling this blaze for nearly 24 hours. Tonight, the ongoing battle to extinguish this massive cargo ship fire that's claimed the lives of two firefighters. The 12-story, nearly 700-foot-long ship docked at Port Newark, carrying potentially thousands of vehicles and more than 150 containers. There's a bunch of vehicles on this ship, and it's on fire. Just before 9.30 last night, workers on the 10th deck were moving some of the cars when the flames broke out. Newark firefighters racing to the scene as it quickly spread up to the top two decks of the ship. You got heavy water on the top floor now. Extremely hot. Then at 1025. We got a firefighter that's on the floor where they went in. He needs air. The first mayday call and then the second. Two department veterans trapped between cars, the fire out of control. Their fellow firefighters risking their own lives to try to save them. Firefighter Brooks and firefighter Alcabal, if you can hear this, activate your panic alarm button. This is headquarters. It would take more than two hours to evacuate Augusto Akabu. Every time I'm a firefighter, they need help. And another two to get to Wayne Brooks. He's still wedged between the cars. Both men pronounced dead at the hospital, hailed as heroes. Five other firefighters injured. We just lost two of our best here in the city of Newark. Newark's fire chief praising his team that had never trained for a fire on a ship quite like this. It's definitely a, a, a different structure, a different type of fight, firefighting. In a statement tonight, the Italian company that owns the ship says it will undertake a full investigation and cooperate with authorities to determine the cause of the fire and that their thoughts, prayers and sympathies are with the families of the fallen firefighters. They will certainly be remembered as heroes. Trevor Alt is at the port in Newark, New Jersey. Trevor, there are now concerns about the ship taking on too much water. Yeah, Lindsay, as you might imagine, all of this water that they're shooting onto the ship, the gallons of it really add up. And if they don't take periodic breaks to actually release some of that water, the ship is at risk of shifting out of balance and tipping. Now, there's still no timetable for when this fire might be fully extinguished. It could be days before they put it out. Lindsay. Trevor, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.